Hello, for today's video lecture we're going to be talking about Newton's first law of motion. So Newton's first law states that a body at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. A body in motion continues in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. So let's break this down and talk about what this means. Um, so pre-Newton's first law uh, a lot of the first law is breaking down the previous method. So prior to Newton, a popular theory of motion was the Aristotelian theory of motion, uh, which stated that basically bodies were naturally at rest and moving bodies will eventually return to rest if left undisturbed. Uh, this kind of works on the surface of the earth because there's always friction to slow things down. And so most things wind up kind of coming back to rest because friction is going to do its work eventually. Um, continued motion requires continued action of a force. Uh, and so if you imagine pushing a cart, uh, moving a boat across the ocean, you need a continuous force to keep things moving. And that kind of intuitively makes sense uh, until you get into something like space, where you don't have friction slowing things down. Uh, then the theory kind of uh, falls apart. All right, so the Theories agree in that bodies at rest tend to stay at rest unless acted upon by force. Uh, something like a rock in a field is going to stay um, unmoving until we move it uh, with some sort of force. Uh, but the theories differ in terms of what happens to bodies in motion. So they either stay in the motion, stay in motion, which is what Newton uh, proposed, or eventually come to rest, which is what Aristotle proposed. So friction was the key difference uh, in bringing things back to rest. And friction was the kind of hidden force that uh, was not accounted for in the Aristotelian method. So space is what broke all this down. If we look in space, we can kind of see a uh, things in motion tend to stay in motion, uh, confirmation of Newton's first law. All right, so we also want to talk about the net force uh, or the unbalanced force that Newton was talking about. So this idea of net force uh, the net force is simply the sum of all forces acting on the body. Um, so this rock is not moving because the forces are balanced. If you think about it, there's going to be a gravity force pulling the rock down, and there's going to be a normal force holding the rock up. Um, and so if those things are balanced, like they are in this situation, uh, the rock continues to stay not moving. Uh, if we were to remove the earth from underneath of it, suddenly those forces would be unbalanced because we'd only have the gravity force uh, and no normal force to hold it up. And so then we would have acceleration. It would start moving uh, in that case. So a non-zero net force or the sum of all the forces, uh, if that is not zero, it is an unbalanced force. And that's what's needed to change the velocity of the body. And if the velocity is changing, we have acceleration. All right, so we can also extend Newton's first law to rotation. Um, so a body at rest, uh, in this case a body not rotating, will remain at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced moment. Uh, and a body in motion, in this case a rotation, uh, is going to continue uh, in that same motion with the same angular velocity and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced moment. So this is looking at something like a top. Um, a top is we have to exert an unbalanced moment, so we spin it up uh, to start the rotation. Uh, and if we had no friction at all, uh, it would continue rotating forever. We can do that in space as well. Uh, whereas here, the top is eventually going to come to rest because we've got a friction force uh, that is slowly um, kind of draining the velocity out of the top. All right, so that's all we have for today's video lecture. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.